M0FXP, welcome back to the channel. So here we are with the Radtel 580. You probably haven't heard of this one. It's not one that we sort of see much about or hear much about. It's a brand new model. It's the Radtel 580 and it's advertised as a 10 watt radio, but it's also got six bands, GPS and Bluetooth. Now I don't know if the Bluetooth works with a head with a headset, but anyway, let's just have a look. Now this is the GPS model. There is a non-GPS, non-Bluetooth model. But this one isn't actually isn't actually cheap. It's about 130 pounds, um, so it's quite pricey. So first impressions, it's quite a chunky device, and it looks just like the Radtel 470, which is about 50 about 40 pound. So here's the the 470 version. Yeah, well. Soon find that, but I mean, it's a similar size, really. I would say. So let's just keep going. I'll just take the battery off and just make sure that I got the GPS model because they charge me extra for it. So there's all your bands. Doesn't really say on there. It says 10 watts. Well, of course, we'll test that. Anyway, it's a nice chunky battery and it says here 3,800 milliamp hour. Okay. And it clips, clips into place, I believe. Is that it? Yeah, you... It, oh, I didn't hear it. It's not that... didn't give that satisfying click, but there's your USB-C charging. So it's not any actual radio screw on side bit i mean the case is actually a light gray which is different not completely convinced by that clip but it's on there because once we put the belt clip on so let's get everything out of the box and then let's see what's in here so instruction manual IP69, ooh. So, yeah, it seems okay. I do refer to them when I get stuck. Yeah, I did make sure I got the programming lead. So I'll mark the actual packaging so I don't get them mixed up and, the, and I'll mark the cable as well. It's a single pin lead, which is interesting. That it's single pin, big LED on the front and that wonder what that is. Um, antenna. Oh, earpiece. So yeah, so with the, when you get the, so that tells me that the, the head, sorry, the Bluetooth does work with audio. So that's interesting. Looks very similar to the, uh, the one I've got with my RT3S. Uh, antenna, budget antenna. Pretty bog standard. Uh, belt clip, yeah. Charger, so there is a mains charger. And again, I label all these. I label everything so I don't get mixed up. Okay, two antennas in this box. Possibly one's suitable for airband, one isn't. Let's see if I can just read that. It's quite hard to read. One says, UHF 360, no, 350 to 390. And the other one, cool. That's hard to read. 174 to 480 and 136. So there you are. So two antennas. Pop the red one on, I think. Covers the most bands. They're quite flexible. Antennas and there, yeah, they've got a Quite a nice design. I like the sort of red touches they've added with the turn. They, we know which way to turn it, which is handy that they've showed us that. Let's get some decent lighting on this. Turn her on. We're not going to need the charger yet. The Bluetooth. I don't know if we'll test that in this video, but it comes with a belt clip, big chunky belt clip, which is quite hard to get the screws in. If you look, you've got to go all the way through those holes. But yeah, we'll put that on later. And yeah, 
Bluetooth headset, which I'll quickly put on charge. And is that C charging? Yeah, USB-C charging as well. So let's turn it on now. Remember, I've never used this device ever. So I'm turning it on with you. And the thing that's interesting about it is the whole, that we've got three displays. So um, let's just, um, let's see if we're in VFO mode first. We'll go one. No, I think we're in memory mode. See the way it started typing the channel. So I can see the word mic here. Menu. Let's just go through the menu for now. Backlight. Let's make sure that's on more than, there you are, continuous, select, squelch, select. So that's nice and easy. TX power, I remember it's 10 watts, only two selections there. Roger, timeout, wide and narrow, CTCSS, scramble. There's our Bluetooth. Let's just put it on anyway. Now remember, we pay quite a lot extra to have Bluetooth. Language busy. Now I, I want to see the SD. What's that? Is there an SD card in this? Don't think so. That's headphone speaker. So I don't think that's that. So channel name. So you can program it from the front. Name edit. Yeah. Aha. GPS. On. Receive GPS on. So that's all on. I'll get my GPS booster nearby, see if we get a lock. Okay. So GPS booster's there, so let's we'll just see if we pick anything up. TX GPS on. Ooh. Vox game, Vox delay, twin receive. Let's turn that on. TX select. Okay, I'm not sure what that does. Going back with the red button at the moment. There you've got F and MW. That's very similar, the way that looks, to my uh, uh, FT5. Okay, keep going. Store channel. Shortcut buttons. So, is that one there? It's one, two, PF1 and PF2. Long and short. Power save squelch. Okay, that's your main thing. Now you've got a mode here. Now I'm not touching the screen, it's not touch screen. So if I just press, because it... Yeah, so as I press mode, it's going up and down. The top one is on channel. So if I do the middle one to my node now, four, three, four, nice red icons. Actually, my node is actually four, three, four, four. No, I'll keep getting it wrong. Let's do this again. Four, three, four, three. I'm pressing the wrong one. Four, three, four, three, zero, zero. Right, that's my node. Okay. Just trying to zoom in here. Right, yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, okay. Now we'll go one, one four, four, five, five six, zero, zero. So we're dual receiving there. So I'm, I'm very curious to know if it can receive two at the same time or not, or if it's going to queue. But... Not sure why that come, it came and went like that. Now at the top, um, it was working well until the uh, the, the solder tiny little butane one decided to See the two little the mountains. I believe that's dual receive. receive. You can see the Bluetooth there. Over the, uh, table. I'm not seeing anything about GPS at the moment. Let's grab the Bluetooth headset and just turn it on and see if it pairs. So it was on charge. So a little on. I've never used this, but anyway, on off button here. It's flashing now. Really, it should just pair.
Looking at the moment, go menu. Bluetooth. On. Back out. Yes, it's paired. I can hear it. So it does work. It actually sounds really good, actually. Um, no problem at all with Bluetooth. I'm not sure if you can program this with Bluetooth. That's the new one to learn. If we go through the, these preset bands, 155, 136, 479, 440, 165. Let's do, we know it does air bands. So if we go to the next one down, Go one, three, three, eight, five, zero. And you're not hearing it, but it's gone straight to AM. And that's Bristol. Let's look in here. Bristol, is it Tower? I think it's Approach, I think. So yeah, so far, Bluetooth works well. It is unique to see a triple screen. Now it's now showing that we have got a GPS lock. Um, you can see there, that's the GPS lock. So now what we want to know is how do we view that? How do we view GPS? So we go menu. Offset. Channel name. We'll do all programming in another video. GPS. So it's already on. Receive GPS could be there. No, it's on. So that, that's what I want to know is how to view it. It's going to be away. So have a look at these. You got short. You got a full keypad here. Let's try DTMF. So if we go one four five zero one zero for now, just quickly key the mic. I'll turn off the, the Bluetooth. But the, just so you know, the PTT does work. One two test. Right, there you are, it's gone into PTT, nice red signal meter. M0 FXB, so we'll just turn that off. Keep that in the box for now. So with a bit of luck we should hear now. DTMF. Not sure about DTMF at the moment because we can't hear anything. Let's turn it off. Then on. And let's go key. Yeah, I'm not hearing the tones, but it might work. Four, three, four, three, zero, zero. So you got much planned for today, Rich? What are you up to? Okay, we're, we are connected to our noble. We're not connected to anything at the moment. Right. So what we'll do, we've turned on the tone. It was just menu. Menu. T did that and then hit the star and then we could go up and down. Confirm. And we know we're opening the node. You see it coming back to us there, keying back to us. I'm still hearing I swear I'm still hearing the um <laughs> the Bluetooth. Anyway, let's just see if it um connects to Hubnet. So at the moment we're not connected to Hubnet. Uh, let's just key the mic and go star three four one five two two. No, so we'll, we'll do separate videos, loading repeaters using DTMF, looking at uh, closer at Bluetooth and definitely GPS and sending GPS, and you know whether I'm pretty sure if we just we can put all these into memory mode if we just hold down channel mode. See that? And go down again. It's definitely loud enough. Nice coloured signal meters that match the LED, which is red and green. Yeah, so you can go in VFO mode on every one. Look, you can display channel. See that? VFO, channel names. And then you scroll down. And I'm pretty sure we could probably put in broadcast memories. So uh, 99. Oh, we're in, we need to go back into VFO. There'll be a button for that. Let's just press it. Something's happening, but oh, there it goes. I knew I'd find it. That's your broadcast radio. Hold it down. 
all weather channels. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's, def it's a lot of functionality in there. I don't know whether I feel that it's worth what they're charging, but it has got all these, you know, at the end of the day, Bluetooth GPS, it includes the GPS, sorry, the Bluetooth mic there, speaker mic, two antennas, it's got a charger, it's USB-C. It's, 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 it's a good budget device. I think for it to be up there in the hundreds of, I think it's 125 delivered, I think you need to start thinking about DMR at least. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now. More videos to follow. 73.